This uh, item is a, uh, a shovel that we used on the lunar surface. It was actually called a scoop uh, in our parts list. Uh, but we used it as a shovel. It also had a long handle attached to it so you could uh, scoop up uh, soil samples. But also it would rotate uh, and you could do it, use it as a hole. Uh, I used it uh, a lot to dig trenches. Uh, and you could dig a trench probably three feet deep uh, with this item. And then you could reach in and uh, scoop out a, a soil sample that was... Uh, three feet under the surface. Uh, and we also used it to collect a, uh, a, a sample that was called a uh, permanently shadowed sample. And we found a rock up on the moon, let's say three meters, and underneath it was a hollow place. And it looked like to us it had never seen the sunlight. So I reached in uh, with a shovel uh, to uh, collect a little bit. And, and I just made a comment to John Young, my commander. I said, uh, you do this uh, uh, on in Texas, and you get a rattlesnake uh, up on the moon, you get a permanently shattered sample. And so we got that sample. And uh, this was a very valuable tool for us. Uh, we used it uh, mostly to collect the fine-grained uh, sand uh, uh, and also some rocks. Uh, I used it to make a tripod that uh, I had to uh, one time uh, pick up a rock uh, that was probably the size of a watermelon and I could not pick it up with one hand so I put the shovel down and leaned on towards it and and rolled this rock up, uh, up my side with my right hand and was able to roll it up my leg and then cradle it like a little uh, uh, little baby and take it back to the lunar module. That's 20 pounds of rock. We were on the moon for uh, a little over 72 hours. Uh, and uh, we had three excursions uh, and the shovel went with us on every one. So in the tool carrier, when we were driving along, this was stacked up in the, in the back behind our seats in what was called the tool carrier. And, uh, and so we had a rake, we had this, we had a penetrometer, uh, a uh, magnetics experiment. But probably the most useful was this, uh, uh, this shovel or scoop, uh, as you want to call it, because we collected a lot of that and the rake. We collected a lot of samples. One of us would uh, have the, 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 the shovel. Uh, let's say I would have the shovel and, and I'd scoop up like that. And John had a little plastic bag about the, it's like a sandwich bag. Uh, Ziploc, and so uh, I would pour it, he would open the bag and I would pour the sample into this bag. He would uh, close it and uh, tighten it up and put it in, then put it in my uh, sample bag carrier, which was on the back, on the right side of my pliss. Charlie, you're gonna fall down here with all these rocks. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll give you the shovel in just a minute when I fill up, and uh, we'll swap, okay? This shovel's a great tool, I'll tell you. Back up. Oh. Ah, boy. We collected uh, 98 kilos, uh, over 200 pounds of uh, moon rocks. I think it was like 213 pounds. The biggest was this watermelon-sized rock. Uh, the smallest was just the dust uh, that went in these bags. And I can't tell you how many probably 100, at least 100 bags full of uh, little samples that we collected and put in these rocks. There's a picture uh, on our first EVA of uh, me standing on the side of uh, Plum Crater. Uh, and I'm facing the camera, John is taking the picture, uh, and right next to me you see the, sh the, the shovel on the handle uh, stuck into the lunar surface uh, while I'm standing there for this picture. Uh, you know, once we parked the car, we just turned on the TV camera and uh, Mission Control controlled the, uh, the camera and they'd follow us around and zoom in and out and they would see us collecting the rocks and uh, identifying the rocks and soil samples. And uh, so it was well documented, this, the use of this, uh, this tool. We decided to uh, keep the shovel. 
a lot of the uh, equipment was too big to carry back and weighed too much. Uh, but an item like this uh, uh, was uh, probably a pound total. Uh, we decided that'd be a great souvenir to bring back. This is probably the most important uh, and rarest uh, uh, item uh, that was brought back from the moon. I think Apollo 14 uh, had a shovel uh, or scoop uh, that they brought back. Uh, but as far as I know, this that one and this one are the only two uh, that we returned from the lunar surface. We had uh, the... the uh, items that were from the lunar module plus all the rock samples were transferred back into the command module and we had a it's like a big laundry bag uh, of uh, uh, of storage uh, stuff and items that we had collected from the lunar module and from the lunar surface this has been a very precious artifact uh, that i've had in my collection since uh since returning home from Apollo 16. John and I parceled out different items and I was, I got the shovel and, uh, or the scoop. And so it's been in my position ever since. It's a rare artifact and uh, I, I hope that whoever is successful bidder will uh, cherish it as part of his collection. Uh, take your old thing and do a exploratory there for a while. Oh, just, if it's... Look! Look at that! This moon rock scoop from the personal collection of Charlie Duke is among over 400 remarkable items in RR Auctions Fall Space Sale. Don't miss this opportunity to own a piece of space history. You definitely did like a scoop here in North Carolina.